Santa Plus. He is not even old enough to drive, but he's created something that could save your life. We're going to meet the high school sophomore who was recently honored at an international science and engineering fair. This guy is so smart. Oof. He is 16 and he's so smart. A Folsom High School sophomore has a very bright, bright future ahead of him. He was recently honored at an international science and engineering fair. He is with Cody showing off his invention. Can you believe it? He's 16, Cody. I know. I hate him already. He's the nicest kid in the face here. But you're like, 16? You're that handsome? You're that good looking? You're this smart? Uh, Nathan, Nathaniel, how do you say your last name again? Fargis. Fargis. So write this down because we're all going to be working for you one day. What is the name of your project? What did you do? Well, basically it's a fall detection system for elderly people. Oh, okay. Yeah, so it's something that they'd be wearing uh -huh. and if they were to fall down and what it does is it automatically detects when they fall and it sends a signal wirelessly to get help oh, okay. as soon as they fall down. And what do you call it? Well, just <laughs> nothing special. I don't really think. <laughs> it's a robust human fall detection Texas. wireless system. Yeah. I, mean, I think we would need to work on a better name, but I, I think, I think this sure. is great. So what did you use to program? What are you working with here? Uh, the platform is called Arduino, and that's the little micro con the, the computer chip you see on the bottom here. Uh -huh. And in between is a radio, and so that's how it's sending the signal to the other module. Oh, okay. And then on top here is actually an accelerometer, a sensor. Oh, okay. So that, yeah. that knows if it's, it's that, you know, got different places. Okay. Yeah, that's the sensor which detects when it falls. Okay. So what will happen if I drop it? Well, I'll just maybe I'll just show you a quick okay. demo. Hopefully, yeah. you'll <laughs> drop the Teletubby. Yeah. Oh no! <laughs> Teletubby has fallen down. So the light ramp. Oh, I see. Yeah. So the Yellow light means that um, the person has fallen. Okay. And so it sent a signal to the other station. So this could be, right now, it's just like um, maybe like you're living with your parents or something and they're in a different room. And so mm -hmm. they know that you fell. But this could be like a text message or something like that. And the oh. red, yeah, and the red light means that he's been out for 10 seconds and he hasn't moved. Oh. So it's kind of like a critical alert signal. He must need help awesome. immediately. Awesome. Good yeah. job, man. That's a, that's a great job. So what did you win? To, what award did you win? What did they do here? Um, in my category, uh -huh. Yeah, at the fair, I got second place in engineering. Nice. Yeah. Get out. <laughs> what does they come with? They get a certificate and then... Yeah, there's there's a certificate and um, a cash prize of $1,500. Really? And the coolest part is, so, like, this lady announces from MIT that all the first and second place winners get a minor planet named after them. What? So, uh, yeah. <laughs> really? Yeah. As they search it out there, they find something that's going to be, wait, wait, they're going to go, it's, your last name or first name? I don't know, but I'm oh. no, not sure yet. Yeah, you're going to go with last name. Probably, oh, yeah. That's so awesome. <laughs> Very nice to meet you. I, I can't wait to start working for you one day. <laughs> I think you're onto something. That's that's really good engineering. Thank you. Nice. That's cool, man. That's really cool. All right, Ains, back to you. What did you do with the $1,500? Um, well, I gave, like, a little part to my grandparents, uh, like, each of them, but nothing yet besides that. That's so sweet. Yeah. Nice. Gosh, <laughs> So sweet. It's going to build more stuff. <laughs> so smart. <laughs> All right. Thanks so much.